Slabs and molding polylines. Slabs are 3D boxes. Chief, it's all about making boxes. You can make your own using the slab tool. It can be used in many areas of your plan. Edit them in any view. I'm sorry, edit them in the view that you draw that in. In other words, reshape them in the view you drew them. If you drew it on the floor plan, you can reshape a slab there. If you drew it in an elevation, you can reshape it there. Molding pilot lines equal profiles of items extruded on a line. You can draw a line in your plan and Chief can add a 3D shape to that. It's great for trim in plan and on elevation used to make items in your plan, post footings, things like that. So again, real quickly, let's go back to Chief and let's open a new plan. Here's your slab tool right here used for drawing 3D slabs. If you understand how that works, draw your slab. Let's cover a couple of the CAD tools all at the same time. Okay, draw a slab. Again, the break, key, break tool or the three key to break things. Um, if you want to create do this here. You want to create a U-shaped counter. There you go. Countertops work exactly the same as a slab tool. Again, it's a 3D polyline object in your plan that you can do different things with. I'm sorry, I was looking at questions. Um, what's the difference between molding lines and 3D molding lines? Th molding lines... Oh, here, let me just finish this. I'll come back to that in just a sec. Okay, so I've, draw I've drawn this. Let me draw some walls in my plan. So I've got something to relate to here. Okay, every slab in your plan is going to be measured from zero on the first floor. Okay, every plan has a zero inch floor height on the first floor. Okay, your slabs always will start out at a certain height from that. So the top of this slab is now, and I could click on it here, I can't edit the shape from here other than the thickness, but I can set the top height. Where do I want the type of top height to be from zero on my plan? Maybe I want that to be you know, 48 inches from zero and I want it to be 12 inches thick. Okay, so there's a slab. Okay, I use slabs for so many different things. Uh, again, there's different types of slabs too. There's your, con there's your, there's your um, terrain perimeter slab, there's your slab for drawing sidewalks and roads, there's your slabs for drawing countertops, slabs for drawing you know just slabs for drawing sidewalks, uh, steps, window wells, I mean you name it there's a ton of things that you can use to draw slabs with that can be put in 3D, have any material you want on it, there's just so many different things you can do with it. The molding polylines, all right, you have two different types of molding polylines. You have uh, one type of molding polyline that when you draw it, draw with it, you can open it and you can attach a profile to that molding polyline. It could be casing, it could be anything that you can draw with the CAD tools. All you have to do is draw half the profile. Just draw the profile of the object. Okay, so I'll just take a look at this. Again, look at what we're looking at here. We're looking at cross sections of some CAD things. All right, these are all drawn with CAD. And you could draw the, anything you could draw with Chief's CAD or anything that you can import from someone else can be extru can be attached to a molding polyline and, and extruded extruded in 3D automatically. Okay, so here's my molding. I'm just going to make it bigger so you can see it. It will change the size. I'm going to offset it eight feet to the top of the object from zero. That's what that means, eight feet. And I want it to be on the inside of the CAD line, not the outside. So you have that option there to put it wherever you want. Click OK. Bring up an overview. There's that piece of molding that I just created. Now I could also click on that piece of molding and you'll notice when I click on it you can see the dots for the CAD line itself that is being used to extrude this 3D object. Let me open that and let me uncheck inside and you'll notice how it flips to the other side of the CAD line now. Okay, so now it's flipped the other way. 
So again, anything that I draw can be attached to a molding polyline. And you can also do things like um, change those lines to arcs. Oh, I lost my. There it is. So I could stretch that out, make that curved. It could be whatever you want. Um, the difference between this and a 3D molding polyline 3D molding polyline allows you to attach an object to it not a profile but an object like a piece of dental and that piece of dental would then be attached to the polyline in the amount of space of that object but that's what a 3D polyline would be this is just gonna extrude the shape all the way on that line whereas the 3D um, object will be extruded not extruded it'll just be attached to the object at the size of the 3D object that it is. Okay, so there you go. Hope that was helpful. Again, I have some videos on my website, I think they're in the guest area, um, on how to use some of these molding things. So you might check those out there.